This week, Roller Coaster Track has arrived in the staging area at King's Dominion as they prepare the construction site for the 2025 Roller Coaster. Crews have been hard at work on the site of the old Volcano Roller Coaster constructing footers for the newest addition. Let's take a deep dive on what we know about the newest project. The track that has arrived on site is from B&M, the same manufacturer as Dominator. B&M is the best roller coaster manufacturer in the world, and most Cedar Fair parks have multiple B&M roller coasters. Currently, Kings Dominion only has one B&M coaster, and that's Dominator. Busch Gardens Williamsburg, on the other hand, has three B&M roller coasters, and it has been rumored that they had an agreement with B&M that would not allow them to build roller coasters within a certain radius of the park, which included Kings Dominion. While Dominator is a B&M roller coaster, it was not manufactured for Kings Dominion. It was first built at Geauga Lake in Ohio. When the park closed, the roller coaster was moved to King's Dominion, so that did not break the B&M Busch Gardens agreement. The last B&M coaster to be built at Busch Gardens was Griffin in 2007, so if the rumored deal was for 10 years, that ended in 2017, paving the way for King's Dominion to purchase their first B&M roller coaster. This is all speculation, but it has been a rumor since the mid-2000s. Now that we know that it's a B&M roller coaster, it seems more likely that the rumor of a wing coaster is true. When Jungle X was first themed two years ago, there was a lot of clues dropped that there was more in development. We have six different animals featured in most of the park's artwork, and we know where four of them are. We believe the bird is going to be the animal represented by the 2025 roller coaster. If it is a wing coaster, this will be the fifth B&M wing coaster built in the United States. The first wing coaster was Wild Eagle at Dollywood, built in 2012. The first and only Cedar Fair wing coaster was built the following year at Cedar Point. Gatekeeper has turned into an icon coaster due to its presence over the main gate. The last wing coaster to be built in the United States was Thunderbird at Holiday World in 2015. That will be a 10-year gap between B&M wing coasters in the United States, but will give King's Dominion a unique coaster that not many people have had a chance to experience. So I guess you're wondering, what is a wing coaster? A wing coaster has a train that straddles the track and has floorless seats on both sides of the track. This gives riders a unique ride and elements that you can only experience on this style of coaster. Based on the track that has arrived on site, it looks like our coaster will be a launch coaster similar to Thunderbird at Holiday World. No matter what style of B&M coaster we get, I'm really excited to see a new B&M coaster at King's Dominion and hope this is the first of many. Thank you guys so much for your support in watching this video. If you want to help us out, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, that really helps us out. My name is Clint Novak and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.